Hey guys, welcome back to another snobby beer review. I'm X Bang as always, and we are joined once again with Darren Link. So thank you for coming, Darren. Thanks for having me. And thank you especially for bringing this beer. Not a problem. <laughs> this is Ithaca Brute. Brute is brewed with aged hops, uh, wheat, corn, and it is fermented on oak for many months. Hmm. Um, and then it's finished with a blend of three different champagne yeasts. Huh. So, uh, and it has Britannomyces in it. Gotta have some bread. Yeah, and I'm sure a whole bunch of other fun little bacteria little things. Creatures. Yeah, so I'm really excited. This is this is a beer that I've been wanting to try for a while. Thanks again for bringing it. No problem. Let's get right into it. Let's do it. All right, so the aroma. Um, first thing I notice is just that you know, funkiness. That, Straight up bread in the nose. Yeah, I mean, just... Yeah. Britannomyces yeah. all the way. Earthy, mm -hmm. uh, funky. They, they use the term horse blanket a lot. Yep. Uh, that's one of my favorites. Uh, we coined the term uh, uh, phone booth. New York City phone booth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It definitely has all that. <laughs> To explain a beer that way, they go, why would you want to... Why would you ever drink that? <laughs> but, you know, sours and funky beers are... Uh, it's an acquired taste. Yeah, it's an acquired taste. But it's almost like lemon, uh -huh. citrus, yeah. uh, like lemon zest sure. almost. Yeah, yeah. Some grassiness. Um, Maybe hay. Yeah, hay. Sure. Cheers. Cheers, sir. A lot of people say vitamin C tablet. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've, I've never thought about that, but this totally has a vitamin C tablet flavor. Mm -hmm. Like almost slightly minerally, but mm -hmm. just that kind of like intense citrusy type of... Acidic. Yeah, acidic. A lot of those same flavors, you know, it's kind of has, has that hay, grassy mm -hmm. thing. Definitely some like lemony... Definitely lemon. Yeah. Yeah. Lemon juice and lemon zest. Rye. Yeah, 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 both. Mm -hmm. um, spiciness a little bit. More funky barnyard smelling in the, in the nose than it is in the taste. Um, mm -hmm. You get more of the citrus. Uh, yeah. That's just a, you, you get that tartness. Mm, tart, <clears throat> yep. I wouldn't say it was, it was, it's like overly sour. Mm-mm. Uh, I mean, it's not like a lambic or yeah. goose or something like that, but um, pretty refreshing. Like you said, oh, yeah. saison. Yeah, it's almost like a sour saison. I think saison. Yeah. Saison with bread. Yeah, yeah. That's that's very much what it uh, what it tastes like. Mouthfeel on this. The first thing I noticed was just it was super carbonated. Yeah. Super dry. You can definitely taste the champagne yeast. Yeah. Being one of my favorites, so I gotta say five. Five? Yeah. I'm gonna go with a four out of five. Okay. Um, Fair enough. Yeah. It's really fantastic. Um, you know, the reason I'm not giving it any more than that is just, I mean, I would like it, I, I think I was expecting it to be a little bit more sour. Okay. Um, more complex in the taste? Yeah. You know, all the flavors in there are good, but it's sort of, I mean, it's very light, very easy drinking, sort of like what we're saying, like a Saison that has bread in it, you know, a little bit of tartness here and there. But I mean, that being said, it's really exceptional. I mean, this is easily one of one of the best kind of American wild ales that I've had. Mm -hmm. um, Especially on the East Coast. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that wraps it up for Ithaca Brute. Um... Yeah, it's another one of those beers, you know, it's like, if you if if you can get it, by all means do so. You, I mean, you're definitely going to have to trade for it. It's nowhere on the shelves anymore, I would say, unless you're, unless you're living in Kentucky. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> it seems that way. Yeah, that's, that's always the joke. Uh, you can get anything in Kentucky. Anyway, I digress. This is a really excellent beer. Do what you got to do to get it. Um, thank you, Darren, for sharing sure, this sir. with me. Uh, but you guys know what to do. Grab a beer, leave me a comment. I'll see you next time. Cheers. If you find something, pick me up a case. Me too. <laughs>